Hello everybody and welcome, Mr. Obviously Insane here, with my very first Let's Try of Railway Empire. This was recorded live over on Twitch, you can check me out Friday through Sunday. As always though, I hope you do enjoy. Nice. Uh, I think we'll check out the scenario. Fifty and eighteen ninety. Let's try the gold rush. So the net, after the initial discoveries of gold, hundreds of thousands flocked to California in search of their fortune. But it's not only gold that is being exploited, bringing wealth to the sunny state. The entire region is experiencing explosive economic growth. Uh, just imagine what would happen if a resourceful businessman had already built. A railroad empire in California at this time. Alright, it says that it's hard, so. should be interesting. Alright, so we can't change anything. Actually, I think in the other modes you can, but that's fine. Uh, the trains must wait for each other, and you'll need parallel tracks, which isn't so close. Yeah, that sounds fun. And the game pauses automatically when building tracks, signals, buildings, and in bulldozer mode. You can pause the game at any time by pressing the spacebar. But I receive a deduction on my rating on the completion screen. Trainiac. The game never pauses, other than when newspapers and offers are displayed. You will receive a bonus on your rating. Interesting. I think we'll just stick with normal for now. Utilize the uh, the building pauses to kind of look around the screen and think things out. I think maybe we'll see how it goes. All right. So before I hit that continue button, um, I haven't really played too much. Like I said, just uh, a little bit. So this will really essentially be like the first playthrough. Uh, just hope that the trains work essentially. Right. We'll figure it out. Just gonna have some fun tonight. Isn't my uniform fabulous? I designed it myself. It's 20% less track construction costs. 40% higher costs for tunnels and bridges. Are you a man or a mouse? This is no time to hesitate. Thinking isn't hesitating there, General. About my business. The less you know, the better. Growing up in the immigrant quarters of New York, Don Lorenzo learned at an early age that you have to take what you want in life. Uh, he sees being fair as weakness that must be avoided like the plague. Intimidation is the order of the day. You should choose me. You wouldn't want anything to happen to you, would you? 
and this often results in unfortunate accidents for those that dare to cross them. More from freights. Five auctioneers at the start of the game. Hey, it's not a good idea to keep me waiting. No applications from office employees and unpopular. 15% less income from passengers and mail. Sometimes I think about giving everything up and dedicating my life to poetry. How about you? Hmm. Kind of like that. I did an evaluation of the contenders and I am the best choice. You're not seriously considering these other nitwits, are you? Uh, Doc Murphy could set himself uh, the task of building the best locomotives in the world, but he has a different vision. He wants to inspire other people with the latest technological advances and let them totally share cool in the joy of scientific progress. What was I saying? A railroad company is the perfect way to do this. The competition is no problem at all, but accounting bores him to tears. Many of the buildings are free, repairs are 15% slower though. Engines are seventy percent cheaper. I know I had it here somewhere. But upgrading a business costs seventy percent more. Ouch. How dare you make me wait? Beatrix Vaughn Pomp never fails to make an impressive entrance, silence even the most animated of investors meetings. She's used to being in the spotlight and enjoys spearheading her own business activities. The public know her as a glamorous My figure in the passenger transportation industry, while her competitors fear her as a relentless opponent. So, 50% higher income on passenger and mail. Wow. Matter what you do, just do it with style. But you don't get that much money from freight, and repairs are ten percent slower. Well, do we need a bit more thinking time? When it comes to the charming Trisha Jones, rules and accepted business practices are always up for debate. Contracts are renegotiated in the blink of an eye, and annoying clauses or terms simply dismissed with a smile. Even hearted businessmen frequently have to admit they have been ripped I off. I those poor unsuspecting souls. They won't even realize that we've ripped them off. And she loves auctions. 30% cheaper. Uh, guy Lang, so three times as much applications from spies. Gain 70% less innovation points. We'll just wrap them all around our little finger. Alright, so like no science. Together, we shall conquer them all. Hmm. Hey, why should we play fair if we want to win? The rest are just gold diggers who don't have a clue about how this business works. There's no way to halt the progress of technology. Right, so who are we Niles? going to pick? Niles! Where is my... No. I always tell the truth, even when I'm lying. Your search is over. You found what you're looking for, partner. We'll give the general a try. Jonathan Johnson's in the Steel Empire. Strong leadership and discipline are the path to victory. There we go. The Steel Wheel Empire. I like that a little bit better. <laughs> Another soldier of fortune. Or are you a businessman with a nose for profitable operations? 
I imagine many a gold hunter would pay a pretty penny not to have to walk the journey to their claims. Your fancy locomotives will be just the ticket. I have noted down everything you need to know in your task list. Good luck. Why, thank you, Mr. Random Dude. All right. So as the game mentioned, It pauses when you are in the mode. All right, Shasta. And Carson City. Other than that. What is around us? We got corn. Alright, I can't click on that when I'm inside of a menu apparently. Right, what are our tasks? First three tasks are to construct, sorry, connect the cities of San Francisco, Shasta, and Carson City, transport a total of 200 freight cars, and transport a total of 5,000 passengers. Alright, that's already uh, going because time's ticking, so let's go ahead and stop there. What have we got? Two track here, a million. Three hundred thousand plus rail. Uh, or that's just to go small. Suppose we can go small and then just kind of uh, there Grade. Start from the other side. It went from 2 to 12 pretty quick there. That shouldn't be too bad.
What do you produce those? That sugar? Okay, um, let's connect you. Doesn't look too bad, I guess. There you go. And you. And let's go to supply tower. Right there. And let's go to supply tower. When do I send one train as passenger? And cargo? Or well passenger and like mail. And then just one is freight.
gonna do that by the end of the year. Just have to have it connected. E3. Let's try it. Passenger and mail only. Direction Do freight only, and we'll add you. And construct a maintenance building. Maintenance building, and I am going to construct a maintenance building. What do you do? For most of the possibilities of your trains, it increases mail or passenger volume by 50% in your cities over the next 12 weeks. Yes. Uh, what should the market crier advertise? Um, got the maintenance. I'm not sure what comfort really has to do with mail, but hey, it also does passengers, so. I did make sure I hired him. We already produced beef.
Another market crier? I thought I could only have one. Yeah, okay. So, that's what I thought. <laughs> you can only have the one. Um, you... Yeah. Just can't get you both, eh? That's fine. I'm tempted. That's like all me money is. Last time I tried that, we got hosed, so. Lots of stuff down here. If you don't mind the gold near here. Yeah, yeah. All things I don't need to worry about. Yeah, the only other place that there's wheat is down here. Um, what do you need the most, I guess? Corn, lumber. So that is sugar, okay. California's become a new federal state. All right, well, let's get some corn. Sucker. All right. Something like that. And you little bugger. a little bit better. It's kind of bent it a bit. There we go. Straighten it out. Thanks for watching. I hope you did enjoy. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. If you did, it'll help the channel out immensely. As always, folks, until next time, take care, and I'll see you in the next one.